Good morning. Well, earlier this year, I reviewed and tested the Merlin Birdsong app, which was developed by Cornell University in the States. Just recently, Cornell have released an update to the app, which has got uh, a new user interface, a new look and feel, and uh, some added functionality. So I thought I'd have another look at the app. Yesterday then, uh, I sat down at home and uh, opened the app to see what the new functionality looked like. The original interface, if you remember, looks like this. The Merlin thumbnail hasn't changed, so we'll click on that. And the first thing we notice is a picture of a bird. In this case, it's a goldfinch. The image that you'll see is the image of a bird in your part of the world. The featured bird changes every day. We can scroll down to read information about the bird and also to listen to the bird's song and call and where it lives around the world. We'll close that down and open up some of my previous bird recordings. We'll go back out to the woods and get some new bird recordings tomorrow. To demonstrate the new functionality, we'll click on one of my previous recordings of a blackbird. Yep, that's definitely a blackbird. We click on the This is my bird button and the new screen shows us where we heard the bird. We click on next and then enter some reference to where we heard the bird. Click on next and if everything's correct then click on save. This is the first time that I've recorded a blackbird since a new functionality was available. So this is a lifer for me. If we now go back to the home screen, we can see that there's a button to view our life list. And there's the blackbird that we've just added. If we go back to the view of the previous recordings that we chose, we see that two of the birds have got a dot next to them. This shows that I've recorded them as having seen them previously. You'll notice that the blackbird doesn't have a dot next to it, and that's because I haven't recorded it since the new functionality was available. Back at the home page, you'll see that there's an explore button. This gives us a long list of birds that we might be able to hear in our own area. The gray bar next to the bird's picture tells us when we can expect to see the bird during the year. In this particular list, all of the birds can be seen throughout the year, apart from the cuckoo, which can only be seen here during the summer. This is a particularly useful piece of functionality, I think. We can click on uh, one of the birds at random and we can see the details of the bird, as we did previously with the goldfinch. Well, we're back out in the woods now. I can hear some birds tweeting away in the background. So uh, let's test out the new version of the app. It's a new day, so we've got a new bird. Today it's the black cap. We'll click on the sound button and see what Merlin identifies. Well, here's a wren and a robin and a wood pigeon and a blackbird. Notice the dots which shows that I've heard them all before, apart from the wood pigeon. We'll open up the details of the wood pigeon. We'll confirm that we heard the wood pigeon, and the screen will show us the location. We'll click on next, and then add a reference to our current location. We'll save the details, And we've got another lifer. That's a look then at the uh, updated Merlin Birdsong app. I think it's a great improvement. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Well, thanks very much for watching 
And uh, if you like uh, videos about the countryside, particularly the New Forest, then please subscribe to our channel.